Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a Diophantine equation. So we have 1 over a plus 1 over ab equals 1, and we are looking for integer solutions. Positive and negative, all integer solutions. So, here's what we're going to do. There's a couple of ways to approach this problem. I'm going to show you, you know, the different alternatives. Let's go ahead and start by making a common denominator. So how do you make a common denominator? First of all, we're going to multiply the first fraction by b. And that's going to give us b plus 1 divided by ab equals 1. Awesome. And then we're going to cross multiply. Obviously, we have to make sure that a and b are not equal to 0, because if one of them is 0, then this expression is going to be undefined. So they have to be different from 0. So I'm going to go ahead and solve this, give you all the solutions, if there are any, and then I'll show you a graph at the end, which kind of explains what's going on between A and B. All right, so let's go ahead and cross multiply here. We get AB equals B plus 1. And then from here, we can basically put, you know, everything that contains B on the same side and get AB minus B equals 1, and then factor out a B times a minus 1 equals 1. So our goal is to isolate one of these variables. Uh, it's probably uh, more meaningful to isolate a minus 1 because uh, b will be on the other side and we can kind of add one to both sides to isolate a. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by b. Since b does not equal 0, we can do this. And then add one to both sides. a becomes 1 over b plus 1. Obviously, you could also arrive at this solution in a different way. Uh, you know, after making a common denominator or after cross multiplication, you know, you can do things a little bit differently. Anyways, you could just isolate 1 over AB and then flip the fractions and get the a, a B that way or A that way. Anyways, so this is what A in terms of B. And I remember we are looking for integer solutions, right? So this is a Diophantine equation. We're not looking for real solutions. We could also do that. I mean, I can kind of explain what it means or what happens in that case. And our graph at the end is basically going to show you all the real number solutions. But we're interested in integer solutions first. So what is that supposed to mean? Whenever you have a Diophantine equation, obviously, you wanna, one of the things that you definitely want to use is divisibility. Obviously, another thing which is very related is modular arithmetic, remainders, so on and so forth. So in this case, notice that a is an integer, so 1 over b plus 1 is an integer, which means 1 over b is an integer, which means b has to divide 1. But 1 is like there aren't that many numbers that divide 1, right? How many numbers divide 1? Well, if you think about all the integers, there's only two numbers that you can think of. 1 and negative 1. That's it, right? Because 1 is the unit. So let's go ahead and check both of these results. What happens in each case? For example, if b is equal to 1, we get a equals 1 plus 1, which is 2. Nice, OK. What happens if b is equal to negative 1? If b is equal to negative 1, a equals negative 1 plus 1. And that means a equals 0. But remember, that's a no, no, right? So we can take zero because if you look at the original equation, you'll notice that a equals zero is not allowed. And also remember this. Okay, great. So a equals zero is not allowed, meaning we end up with a single solution, which is two comma one. All right? I'm just writing the a first, alphabetical order. So that seems to be the only solution. Now, what happens if you're looking for real solutions? Let me go ahead and kind of briefly talk about it. So a equals, let me see, we wrote it as a minus 1 equals 1 over b. Okay, a equals 1 over b plus 1. So I'm going to go ahead and make a common denominator and write it as 1 plus b over b. So by the way, we could easily arrive at this result after we got a b equals b plus 1. You know, we could just divide both sides by b and we will get the exact same thing, right? If our goal was to solve it that way. Obviously, that would be a lot easier, but I don't know why I took the harder route. Anyways, so this is our equation, and if b is any real number, like let's set it equal to k, then a would be k plus 1 over k. So basically, if you are looking for real solutions, then there will be infinitely many, 
that can be written as k plus 1 over k comma k such that k is a real number. So these are going to give you all the solutions basically. Obviously k does not equal 0, right? Because that's undefined, so on and so forth. So if k is equal to 1, we're going to get 2 comma 1, which is the only, only integer solution pair. But if k is equal to something else, let's say k is equal to 5, then we're going to get 6 over 5 comma 5 as a solution and you can definitely test this out 1 over a plus 1 over a b equals 1 if you replace a with 6 over 5 which is going to be 5 over 6 if you multiply these you're going to get 6 1 over 6 the sum is going to be 1 so infinitely many solutions in the real number world but in integers there's only one solution let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and we're just we'll just finish up with that okay here's the graph of our relation which is I uh, used X and Y, but I believe you can also use A and B with Desmos. Anyways, same thing. Uh, this is a relation, uh, and notice that it can probably also be written as a rational function at the same time, but I just wrote it that way. 2 comma 1 is the only, only integer solution on this one. And remember, we, we already talked about some specific particular like values, like for example, what happens if uh, what was that? B equals negative 1. It's kind of interesting B is represented by y, y, by the way. B equals negative 1 gave us A equals 0, which was not allowed, remember? So Y equals negative 1 seems to have a solution like coming, going through 0, but unfortunately, that's an empty dot, which you don't see as an empty dot. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.